Today I have a very nice looking revolver to show for you. It is the Colt Peacemaker in 177 caliber. <laughs> Let's check it out. I'm Dustin and you're watching Guns of the West. That's right, 177 caliber, because this is the Umarex CO2 powered air gun version of the Colt Single Action Army, or Colt Peacemaker, as it's sometimes referred to, and that is what Umarex calls it. In my opinion, this is a beautiful gun, and even though it's an air gun, and I do have a separate channel for air guns, air guns are amazing, but this one obviously fits on the channel Guns of the West, and I did do an unboxing video of it before, but today I just want to give you a better look at it. We'll even get out to the range and shoot it. Well, first of all, here is the firearm version. This is a copy from Pieta. It's actually the Cimarron Frontier, but made by Pieta. It is the four-click hammer version and an excellent copy of the very earliest Colt Single Action Army in 1873. This one even has the black powder frame with the base pin screw up in the front where you actually have to remove it with a screwdriver. The little spring-loaded pin came later. This one has the original barrel length of seven and a half inches, and it is in 45 Colt. Now let's take a look at the Umarex version. This is a very good copy, as you can see. Um, shorter barrel, though, but this is the five and a half, uh, five and a half rather, which did exist historically. One very noticeable difference, at least if you're familiar with Colt Single Action Armies, the grip. This grip comes down a lot longer, but there's a reason for that, and I'll come back to it in just a little bit. You may also notice the hammer does not rest all the way down. Well, that's because this is an air gun. It shoots CO2, at least that's what it's powered by, and if you hold the trigger back and press that down with a CO2 cartridge in it, it will just blow all the air right out the barrel, so it needs to sit back like that. It has a loading gate, which looks and feels just like a Colt Single Action Army. Bring the hammer to half cock. That is what frees the cylinder, just like on the real thing. Even though it just takes pellets, it's got those big chambers, and I'll go over the loading procedure in a moment. So this is fantastic. Holding it in my hand, it feels just like a Colt Single Action Army. Everything about it, except just that that grip is just a little long. But again, it has to be. And the reason it has to be, that's where the CO2 cartridge goes, and I'll show that again when I show you the loading process. Now, if you have a really trained eye, you will notice some other little differences. Like there are some pins in the gun that would not exist if we were talking about a real Colt Single Action Army. You also have some screws that are out of place, but again, this is an air gun, so the internals are going to be different. Now, one thing I want to do on camera is compare the weight between the real one and the air gun. So here's a little food scale. Here's the firearm version. If I set that on the scale, it comes in at 2 pounds, 6.1 ounces. The air gun from Umarex comes in at 1 pound, 15.5 ounces, so less than half a pound difference. And remember, this one has a shorter barrel. I don't think the extended barrel would bring it up all the way to the weight of the other one, but it would be closer. So that's impressive, and honestly, when I have one in each hand, it doesn't feel a whole lot different. This, this one is lighter, but it just really has the feel of the real thing. It's very, very impressive. Well, now let's take a look at the loading procedure for it. I'll be loading the gun today with these Crossman Premier hollow point pellets, and again, these are 177 caliber, and they're 7.9 grain. There's a look at them, very, very small projectiles. And one of my favorite things about this gun is that it comes with these cartridges to make loading and shooting feel more like the real thing. What you do is you take one of these tiny pellets and it goes right into the hole in the back of the cartridge. It makes it look almost like a primer. And so I'll just repeat that for all of the six uh, fake cartridges as they are. Now I've got all the pellets into the cartridges here, but before they go in the gun, the gun needs a source of power, an air source, in this case CO2. So what I'll do is I'll take this grip off, and the grip has a built-in little Allen key right there. I put that into this, and I unscrew it, just backing out that big screw. Then my CO2 cartridge will go in, but before I actually insert it, I'm going to take some of this Pelgun oil and put just a small amount 
onto the top, just like that. Oh, that might be even a little much, but what will happen is that gets punctured. It'll blow that into the gun and help just keep everything in the gun sealed and lubricated. So now that slides right up into there. Then I'll take this built-in Allen key again, turn it clockwise until it touches the cartridge, and then just quickly tighten it down. Oh, heard that little bit of escape of gas, but that's okay. That punctured the CO2 cartridge. And now it's all sealed up and the gun has power. To load the gun, what we do is I open up the loading gate, pull the hammer to half cock, just like on a real one. And by the way, I keep saying real one, but remember, an air gun can be dangerous like a firearm. So it's not a firearm. That's what I mean by not a real one, but does need to be treated like one. Then the loading process is just like on the Colt Single Action Army. I load up all six of them. There we go. Excuse me as I'm doing this with a camera. Just like that. And the gun would be loaded. Unloading, I want to show you here while we're not at the range. I'll take the gun to the range, unload it. But just like on the actual firearm version, you have the same ejector. Works just the same. <laughs> I really get a kick out of this gun, I have to say. A lot of fun to get that look, the feel, even the loading procedure and unloading procedure of a Colt Single Action Army. Well now, let's get to the fun part. Let's get out to the range and give this gun a try. I'll take my first six shots from the Ransom Multi-Cal Rest. Ha! The sound of the other guy's gun was timed well. Well, here's a look at the target, and I'm shooting from just 15 yards. You can see that the shots have gone to the left and high, but I won't judge the gun too harshly. It's a very light projectile at only 7.9 grains, and I'm shooting in a pretty good wind. Well, now let's try six shots freehand without that rest. And here's a look at the target again. This time, to compensate, I aimed at the red diamond in the bottom right of the target. And you can see, when I shoot freehand, I spread the shots out even just a little bit more. Just to give you an idea of how windy it is, you can see how hard it's blowing that American flag and Utah flag over there. And I've also got this Caldwell Wind Wizard 2 to show you how much the wind is blowing and changing. These may not be extremely high winds, but it's pretty high for a little 7.9 grain 177 caliber pellet. And if you're interested in this Wind Wizard 2, I'll put a link to it down in the description of the video. Now in closing, an important thing to keep in mind is I only tried one type of pellet today in this revolver, those Crossman 177 hollow points, and a lot of air guns tend to be a little bit, as we call it, pellet picky. So if you go over to my other channel called Air Guns Are Amazing, I'll be doing more videos with this and I'll test different pellets against each other, kind of like I do with projectiles in the black powder guns, and see how good it can really get your chronograph testing and all of that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this look today at a beautiful little replica from Umex of the Colt Peacemaker or Single Action Army. Don't forget to click that like button down below and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos. And if you look in the description, you'll see where to find me on social media, as well as where to find great Guns of the West products. Thank you so much for watching.